how excited are we to uh, talk to Josh Groban once again? Award-winning Tony, Emmy, four-time Grammy. He sold bajillions of albums. <laughs> bajillions. <laughs> That's the term. And a star of stage, screen, and, and Twitter, and so much in these last couple of years. Uh, first, Josh Groban, how are you? David, Sue, and Kendra from Morning Magic. Great to talk oh. to you again. I'm going to have a big head now. Thank you for that introduction. Wow. (laughs) You know, a a lot of people these last couple of years just kind of shut it all down and decided to wait for for daylight. You, on the other hand, I saw more of you, I think, during the pandemic than I had before. There was PBS specials and Broadway specials and Zooms and live streams. Yeah. How, uh, How has the last couple of years been for you? Yeah, I would love to retire. My manager doesn't know how to take a break. So, um, I, uh, wind up doing all kinds of things. It's been weird. You know, I've been enjoying getting into things that I would normally not have as much time for. You know, I mean, as we all deal with stress and the craziness of the world in different ways, it's been hugely traumatic for the world. If there's any small silver linings, I think we've kind of started to get simpler about the things that we love in our lives and the things that make us happy and uh, learn to cook and got, uh, got really good at Legos. (laughs) <laughs> I'm really good at Legos. Yeah, I have a, you, you just mentioned that we've all been through some trauma the last couple of years, to say the least. How do you still keep your songs so positive? Like most artists are talking about heartbreak and hard times, and you're always talking about being grateful and thankful. And has that been easier coming out of the pandemic because it put things in perspective or harder? Sometimes, you know, you write about where you're at and where your heart is at. And sometimes you write about where you want yourself to be. And I think that sometimes that's the great thing about writing and crafting is that sometimes when you're in your darkest moments, that's when you write your most inspirational songs, because it's the thing that pulls you out. You're trying to manifest what it is you want to say to yourself by saying it to the world. And so that's, I think um, it was a good opportunity to surround myself with positive music, to think about positive messages it got me out of a lot of funks during those last two years yeah. to be able to write with a positive message and to write with a positive energy. And so the bummer about it, though, was that you can't tour it. And so, you know, to, to finally be able to, to, after all this time, come out the other end and to be able to sing those messages for people is going to be just, I think, the chapter that we needed for this album, for sure. Yeah, the timing on this, it's really extraordinary. In November of 2020, if you can bring yourself back there, you released the album, Harmony. I'm imagining you've got the hope and optimism of a new release and going out on tour and all of this wonderful Mm -hmm. stuff that's ahead of you at the time, and you had to just shut it all down because of the the pandemic. It must be a thrill to sort of be able to get back on the road and, and, and to reintroduce people to the record. It is. And I think this is a business where, you know, you, you sometimes you get good timing, sometimes you don't. I mean, it's peaks and valleys for, I think, everybody in the artistic world. But this was a time where I think I, you know, the comforting thing, at least, was to feel like you're sharing that with so many artists. Um, you know, my Broadway friends, my, my musician friends who also had albums and wanted to go on tour. I mean, we were all commiserating together about just the fact that we wanted to express, we wanted to get out there. And I think that it's why this is going to be a very, very crowded summer for so many of us. But, you know, that's great. I mean, people need live performances. People need to get out and they need to celebrate with each other again. And so, you know, safely. And so we're really excited to, like I said, to finally sing these. These songs are meant to be live. They, they just allow me to sing my absolute face off. And I'm excited to do it. We're thrilled that you're coming to Boston. We're thrilled that you're coming to Boston in the summertime. summertime. Yeah. yeah, and if you'll indulge us, Josh, we have a little quiz for <laughs> sure. you, and it's called, You Know It's Summertime in Boston When. Okay. So That'll we be- have three questions. Each of us are going to give you one. It's really not that hard. <laughs> I, I, think you'll be, I think you'll do just fine. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. This is going to be yeah. the easiest part of your day, we promise. Yeah. <laughs> All right. When it's summer in Boston... And you want to take a tour of the city on land and sea. You take a ride in the, is it A, the Mighty Ducks, B, on Daffy Duck, or C, <laughs> the Duck Boats? Yeah, that's. I, I wasn't even expecting multiple choice, so that you're making it even easier. But uh, <laughs> yes, I've, always, I've almost been run over by many a duck boat. Uh, <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. They, um, they so, take yeah. control. <laughs> yeah, they, they really do. All right. When it's Thank summer you. in Boston and you want an iced coffee, how do you order it? A, I'll have a half-sized coffee with some cream, please. B, would you kindly serve me a cold <laughs> brew with some ice? Or C, uh, I'll have a large iced regular. <laughs> well, I mean, I know I should 
I know the answer should be C. I'm a cold brew guy myself, but ah. for, for this quiz, the answer is C, and it's, it's got to be a Duncan. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, that's a bonus point right that's there. Yep. Yeah. There you go. All right, last one for you, Josh. When it's summer in Boston and you order a hot dog from Sullivan's, you only put this on it. Is it A, Grey Poupon, B, <laughs> Caviar, or is it C, Ketchup, and we don't want to hear anything about how wrong it is? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Man, these are all. I feel like they've all been C. Everything's been C on this on this quiz. That's uh, you got to mix it up a little bit. But yes, yeah, C. Yeah, which in other parts of the country is a crime a against no humanity. No. But here in Boston, we love ketchup on our dogs. And we don't follow the rules, so you know it oh, goes I love it's right in. No, no, no. We I follow the same taste trends as the, as Boston, so I'm, oh, I can't good. wait to go and get a hot dog with the, with everything on it. And don't ask about it. That's right. Awesome, That's Josh. We, we it. talked to you a couple of years ago. I think you were performing with the Pops. I, it was before the pandemic and all that. But and we know you've you've been to Boston and have yes. a history in Boston. We love you here. Yeah. And can't wait to see you here in yeah. in July with your band behind the mutual. album of Harmony. The feeling is mutual. Be great to have you back. I can't wait. Thank you all so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the quiz, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you under the stars.